Hey everybody, Last Outrider here, bringing you another fluff video, because we all know we love the fluff. We love the fluff. In fact, we also know that any true 40k player spends more time arguing about canon and fluff than they would spend arguing about rules interpretations of a game. At least that's how I see it. So, we're going to talk about Bellacor's fluff today. I read part of it in, in the video where I talked about the rules of him and a little problem with his background. But let's start all over. For those of you who are wondering where he came from, now you will know. Ancient beyond imagining, the demon prince Bellacor is the first of his kind. Raised up from mortality by the gods of chaos combined, he is given a portion of each of their power. Bellicor's fate has ever been influenced by the endless struggle between the gods, as he is beholden to each of the dark gods equally. At first, Bellicor used the jealousy of the ruinous powers to gain their favors, never completely swearing his allegiance to any one of them. For a time, the gods fought over Bellicor as children might squabble over a favored toy. However, they soon realized the folly of combining their might into a single vessel, as Bellicor was nearly uncontrollable. They soon began to raise up new demon princes, each god choosing only champions that would be loyal to them and them alone. Bellacor remained the strongest of the demon princes, though his might was diminished as the gods spread their power amongst other servants. Nevertheless, Bellacor remains a master of shadows, moving behind the veil of history, exerting the will of the chaos gods upon the universe. Ancient Evil the origins of Bellicor are spoken of only as legends and rumor. Tales torn from the tongues of captive demons or forbidden lore recorded on ancient crypt walls. Crude pictographs found in the caves of dry dead worlds or primitive statues hidden in the sunken depths of death world's oceans speak to Bellicor's immortal reign within the galaxy. Scholars have been driven mad looking for hints of the demon's presence woven into the history of the universe, always lurking in the shadows behind the rise and expansion of the mortal races. Even the secretive Grey Knights, space marine chapter created by the Emperor to control the demonic forces of the warp, know little of Bellacor's true history. Only conflicting lies and impossible fabrications. Legends tell of Bellacor ruling over mortal emperor, empires since the dawn of time. The demon prince conquering a world and subjugating his people, forcing them to worship him as a god. When the, then, when the race would fall into decline, ruined by Bellacor's greed and malevolence, the demon would move on, finding a new, burgeoning race to be his plaything. Several times the demon prince is said to have been the lord of sector-spanning empires, as a dark demon god ruling over a thousand worlds and a billions of loyal followers. Relics and ruins of dead worlds still exist that suggest there may be some truth to these legends. Whether their source was Bellicor or not is more difficult to say. The Adeptus Mechanicus Tecmagos Kyber was spent his life piercing together the history of Bellicor in his exploration of the galactic wilderness, hunting down ancient relics of the Dark Age of Technology. Following the faint trail left by Bellicor's passage through history, Magos Kybor has found winged statues carved from the fossilized bones of psychers, crumbling scrolls of human skin that show thousands of tiny figures bowing down before a dark wing shape 
and the Stygian horn fragments sealed in sacred caskets. Unaware of Bellicor's true nature, Kybor has become convinced that these objects are linked to the one alien overlord, an ancient creature that has existed for millions of years in various guises and is bound behind countless vile deeds. Unknown to Kybor, he is being manipulated by Belakor. The demon prince placed the first clues to his existence in Kyber's path, leading the Magos to the ruins of a world he once ruled. From his seed of curiosity, Kyber had discovered new systems and planets, ruined empires, long forgotten by Belakor. While the demon helps Kybor from the shadows, the Magos gathers up the hidden and forgotten legacy Belakor has left behind ultimately returning to the demon prince his lost objects of power, while also erasing his existence from history. Boom. And here's the quote. He is not many. He is one. He is the first, a creature as old as creation itself. He has moved unseen between the stars from millennia, twisting the fates of many re races and feeding upon their misery. But I have found him. I have learnt his name. Tech Magos Kyber Aberasti to the Council of Chalice. How's that one? Pretty cool? Here's the next part then. Herald of the End Times. Ooh. Like a petulant firstborn son, Belakor has always had a bitter jealousy towards anything or anyone that wins the favor of the Dark Gods. For millennia, the Demon Prince undermined the plots and schemes of the demonic and mortal servants of Chaos. However, what Belakor mistook for free will and a measure of revenge amongst those that have usurped his power was merely the great game between the Chaos Gods. When the demon brought down a champion of Nurgle, invariably he was doing Zinch's bidding. And while laying a warrior of the blood god low, he was fulfilling the will of Slanesh. Belakor remains blind to these manipulations of the gods. His own thirst for power and pleasure of proving his mastery over rival champions of chaos seems enough to make him forget the sorceress tethers the gods continually tie and wind tightly around his neck. In more recent times, rumors say Belakor has begun shadowing a new champion of the Dark Gods, the war master Abaddon the Despoiler. Supposedly, the demon prince has spent centuries watching over him and influencing vents as they ebb and flow around the war master. Knowing on some level that their fates were bound, during each of Abaddon's Black Crusades, the Master of Shadows lurked in the background. Hmm. During the Third Black Crusade, legends say that it was Belakor who manipulated the demon prince Talomin into aiding the Despoiler and ultimately assaulting Cadia. Belakor was also reputed to be the one who told Abaddon of the treachery of the Drakerth, the Sightless, leading to the destructions of the Sons of the Eye during the Sixth Black Crusade. In both instances, Belakor's actions seem to have aided Abaddon's rise to power though closer examination exposes possible darker motives at work. Wait a second. But da ah, Back! Sorry. Had a little technical glitch there. And so where were we? Oh, yes. Belakor has manipulated the demon prince Talamon into aiding the Despoiler and ultimately assaulting Cadia. 
Belakor was also reputed to be the one who told Abaddon of the treachery of Drakarth, the sightless, leading to destruction of the Sons of the Eye during the Sixth Black Crusade. In both instances, Belakor's actions seem to have aided Abaddon's rise to power, though closer examination exposes possible darker motives at work. Though Talomon extracted a terrible toll upon the armies of Acadia, he did so at the cost of numerous Black Legion warbands, much to Abaddon's ire. While Drakarth, the sightless, could in time have proven a powerful ally to the spoiler, had not Belakor fanned the embers of vengeance burning in Abaddon's heart. Hidden behind a veil of secrets and lies, it is impossible to know for sure if Belakar is doing the bidding of the Chaos Gods or working against them. However, his plots and plans have ultimately seemed instrumental in Abaddon's ascendance to power. <coughs> As the end times hurtle towards their terrible conclusion, Belakor once again stands in Abaddon's shadow as the war master embarks upon his 13th Black Crusade against the Imperium. The demon marches with him. With hatred and jealousy guiding his hand, the demon prince has worked his way close to the war master, earning a place in Abaddon's inner circle and making him believe he is the herald of the ruinous powers. You hear that, people? Yep, yep, all you Chaos Marine players, pay close attention here. Yes, this is me. Yes, yes. At the... Mm, the demon marches with him with hatred and jealousy guiding his hand. The demon prince has worked his way close to the war master, earning a place in Abaddon's inner circle and making him believe he is the herald of the ruinous powers. Belakor is surely plotting against Abaddon in some way, seeking to undermine the victory intended for the War Master by the Dark Gods, and claim the power and glory of conquest for himself. Where and when this treachery will reveal itself is known only to Belakor himself. Ha 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 Yes, there you go. That should give you some conspiracy theories to work on between chaos players and everything like that because we know that's always the fun part that's always the fun part so until next time enjoy and bye